and a raccoon. They got some peanut butter out of us. So, <laughs> and by the way, Karen Ter was terrified of a raccoon last night. And tortilla chips. And tortilla chips? <laughs> yeah, the birds had the tortilla chips. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Watch those. Those tiny little birds take these great big chips and fly away with them. After the raccoons got Right, after oh. the raccoons got them, we just gave them to the birds. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you once again for the for seeing us through on the other side, even though Stir was in a kayak, he didn't drown himself. <laughs> he didn't really fall in the water like Jay thought he did. And he hooked his shirt on his belly, so we're thankful he came through pretty much injury free. And we thank you for this food. In Jesus' name, amen. He hasn't scraped on his ankle. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> From skating. Shout out oh, to yeah, the yeah. God bless you. <laughs> Are we still going to go to South Dakota? I don't know. Right, well, yeah, see where we're at. Still going to get gutters on the house, huh? Yeah. Anybody knows a reliable gutter person in the area? Looking for one. Did you see that there's plants growing out of the gutters on the water? Yeah, that needs to be cleaned, Ian. Yeah, Y'all can reach that. Hold up. He's scared of heights. He was shaking earlier from being on that one. Well, I guess it's all on you. On the addition, mm -hmm. where they can reach, we have a forest coming out of the gutters. Growing out. Looks real nice. Mm -hmm. It's really edible, I keep it. But. There's maple trees and stuff. Yeah, I know. Well, maple seedling planted. Yeah, I need to go around and check my plants out as well as we do at the beginning of the week. I never did. Cucumber. I suppose we'd do a beef jerky with stout in the dehydrator. Right. Mediums on the air was not look too good. One of them looks like it's dead. I don't know what's that about. Why can't we grow hot peppers? Do you guys have any tips on growing pepper? We have not been successful one year with hot peppers. Yeah. Most years we only get like two or three jalapenos. Right. Mm -hmm. But they're usually super spicy. They're really good. Maybe yeah. they're so small. I don't know. Yeah. Small, mate. Yeah. Like little trolls. <laughs> exactly. Small like but mighty. Like the best this is really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we've had something like this. Mm -hmm. It's our own creation. It's like a taco cheeseburger mac kind of going on. So you got the cheeseburger macaroni. And I put some corn in it and uh, taco seasoning, ranch seasoning, salsa. Tierney did a 95% of the work. So Tierney, you cooked dinner for this time. Thank you. Good job, I did the seasoning and she did everything else in except for putting the pasta in the, in the collar. So she's a pretty good cook. She's going to follow me today's footsteps. You want to help? Told you so. I'm going to be so fast. Did you tell Monica about the dolls? Oh. Have you ever seen me and Jerry doing the doll painting? We'll take dolls and paint over them and do it with our own designs and give it our own hair and do clothes for it and all kinds of stuff. Some people even like take saws to the dolls, pull take saws to the dolls, pull them apart, put them back together. <laughs> but um, if you want to try it out, I just got you saw when I brought the packages. I got. Eight more dolls. Oh, she, she was in she bed, was in bed, bed, bed this morning. Oh, you weren't here? For breakfast? Yeah, she was in bed for breakfast. Oh, I got eight dolls that came in the mail. I was like, okay. Yeah, right when I got here, I was like, you can have one bed. I barely there's, saw you this morning. There's no way I'm being up at 7 23. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed in the bed until 2. So. I thought you were a morning person now. Huh? Huh, I thought you were a morning person now. Okay, I kind of just said that so you guys wouldn't like it. You want me to like your book. You still have school. Do you still have that morning person t shirt that I bought you? Yes. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't see mom's shirt either, did you? Hmm? You didn't oh, see mom's shirt either. No, you didn't see that. I'll just show you that. It did. Did you see Or I can show the camera. Mm hmm. Did you see I'm that in there. What? The drawing I was working on. It's a great shirt. I finally figured out Red's dragon. Like, I saw one like that. Mm -hmm. um, it takes your birthday and stuff. Mm -hmm. And whatever. Um, 
Yeah, a little you get confused because they've got them, the shirts that say my roots start in. I saw her wearing, wearing one Grand Junkie the other day. Okay, these my roots start in Grand Junkie. All right, read it. Oh, so, uh, it has a book on it. You read it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a spoiled wife, but not yours. I'm the property of a freaky, freaky awesome husband. He was born in March. It, he has anger issues and a serious dislike for stupid people, but I am his queen. He is my whole world. I love him forever and always. Yes, he bought me this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Daddy. Uh, I don't Can know I what I was going to do. Can I get some more? Yeah, I'll get some more. Can you need a bit more. Calm down. Can I get more? I don't want your own food. Can I get more? Yeah, go ahead. I don't want it. Say something to me. There's four boxes, so I'll do it. I know. I'm trying to walk it up with black beans. We don't have any left. The one we're going to have, like, eating him with black beans there. We need to go back to Sensible, then. Sensible's a scratching dent store in our area. You may have them in your area as well, but you can come across some great bargains there. Mom, what if I find Bonnie over at Sensible? Hmm? What if I find Bonnie over at Sensible? That'd be cool. That'd be amazing. There's Bonnie over at Sensible. There's Bonnie over at Sensible. There's Bonnie over at Sensible. Yeah, Bonnie over at Sensible. We're in the Midwest, and this is a ranch dressing kind of place, you know? Mm. You need to quit. <laughs> you can't help it. You, you get rooms in the, blood, in the corn blood here or something. They love ranch dressing, don't they, Mike? Mm. They love ranch dressing, don't they? Put them in the western thing. I don't understand it. Why? There's so much, like, I can see, like, spicy ranch and bacon ranch. Yeah. One of the things I see on Facebook, I'm sure other people have as well, but it says the most midwestern phrase ever spoken is, I'm going to get ranch dressing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Starts with the word oh. I'm gonna say you can say that oh a lot here. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, I passed you here and get the ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. Or oh, excuse me, partner, I'm gonna speed pass you here and get the ranch dressing. I've heard still say that. <laughs> oh, not excuse many. me, right past you. Is that is that the clear in the throat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. I do that all the time. Sometimes yeah. I just say move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depends on how muscular a person is with what, what I'll say to them. Mm -hmm. If they're six foot eight full of muscles, I'll say, like, oh, oh, we'll squeeze right past you. You're going to get some dressing. Sir? Mm-hmm. And I would just say, still, move now before I move you. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I probably won't say I'll move you. I'll be like, I'll get the top. A six foot eight foot person that's muscular than the other muscle time, because she'll probably do like, Seven foot three. She's so tall. Right up here. And then my brother, 14 year old, is just like one, two. No, how old is how tall is he? He's 12. I bet he's like five foot nine. He is actually four foot three. I'm good. Why? How are you doing? Whoa. <laughs> Okay, he's the shortest in our family. He's a, almost exactly as short as Sean. Sean's like Are you four sure? foot two. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Oh! You're shaking the ring tall. I know, he's like one. You should have left at that too. You said, oh. You're a bit western, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's what, oh, that that's what the is. phrase that they use here all the time. Oh, not speed right back. Yep. Yep. You bet you don't know. See, it's I funny because to, to people from Boston, she sounds very southern. Mm -hmm. People from the south, she sounds very Bostonian. Mm -hmm. From the people from the Midwest, the, the they have no idea where she's from. Mm -hmm. No clue. Mm -hmm. She, they, she say they're, they're, her family's from Belize, and it's like telling people you're from Iowa. Where, you, where exactly is that on the map? Is that? Oh, Belize so has become that? very more and more popular. I it's a I hot vacation spot now. Okay, but like Jamaica or whatever, Jamaica's going down because like a lot of Americans are so, yeah, Mama, have died this year in the same hotel or something like that. It's crazy. They're thinking, they're thinking now it's an invisible pocket viewer, brother. 
Oh, snap. Like that Iowa family that yep. had in Mexico. Was a, yeah, it okay. was next. Yes, yeah. Um, If we ever visit Belize, can we drive most of the way there? No. And then when we get to the water part, can we fly? Instead of going to the you guys can go. Iowa I'm airport? Serious. I'm scared I'm scared of I've watched one too many horror movies. I'm, I'm scared, scared of planes and ghosts. So, huh? Yeah, sorry. You wasn't? I have a soda. Yes. I'm scared of getting 9-11. Oh, I got a 9-11 story that I heard last night. Uh oh. It was on this video. What is the most kind of bull crap excuse you've heard from a student that turned out to be true? One of them was a uh, kid said he was late because he was watching the news. And they were like, what, what, why are you watching the news? He goes, oh, some plane crashed into a bu building in New York. It's pretty big. Wow. And they didn't believe him. Wow. All the people who didn't, didn't make it home. They were just going to work for a normal day, you know? So that was a bad day at this point. I, I saw it live when it happened, and they, they took the camera away finally, but there were people jumping off of the, the, the building because they would rather die on impact than they would rather burn. That was a choice. When those planes went in at you, people that were above that, couldn't they couldn't do that. Yeah. They, How do you know you weren't alive? Same footage. What a horrible way, what a horrible choice to make. Horrible choice to have to make. Yeah. And then uh, another image is when the building went down, it was just that cloud of smoke, people running for their lives. Like a movie. Like a movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That black woman that has a white ash all over her. Yes. And the tears that run down her face. That was horrible. And the firemen that lost their lives, that was a, a miserable day. And it would, would get you, it, 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 America has always been a country that everybody else in the world comes to for aid. And when that happened to us, people all over the world were celebrating and dancing in the street and burning the flag. Well, you know what? Why don't we keep our aid here and just take care of our veterans? Why don't we keep our aid here and just take care of our homeless? We don't need to send you money anymore to Yemen or Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that's the way you, 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 you respect our country when something tragic happened. That, that was that was heartbreaking. As many people as we reached out to after earthquake, after hur hurricane, after volcano, after whatever natural disaster, and they celebrated by dancing in the street. You know, I've got two buildings. I understand the country's the size of this tabletop. And not only, it wasn't just two buildings, it wasn't like a house building. No, it was, it was it the was world's biggest building. And you know what they said? America said, no, we're not done. They planted the American flag that rebuilt the Freedom Tower on that spot. And it caused a red light and blue light shot up to heaven. There you go. Freedom Tower. They fight so hard to come to America and try to change our country, be just like the one they left. Well, go back there. There's a reason you left that country. Mm -hmm. You need more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you have mine. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool. And you're ready for bed, you are. That's delicious. Yes. Good job, Tierney. Good job, Dad. Yeah, we did good on this. You like it, Monica? Can you have what? No, man. Huh? Are we going to Are we done with the video? Oh, yes, we're done with the video. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Yes.